Hey everybody, Ally Entertainment. Sorry guys, my hair always looks a mess in these videos. I just don't take the time to pretty myself up. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, you guys, guess what day of the week it is. It is my vlog day, my e-vlog. Things that are going on in the entertainment world and things that are going on in my world. Okay. First up, you guys, I'm going to talk about this straight off the bat because it seems to be what everybody's talking about. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Gardner divorce. Okay, so if you guys don't know who they are, then you're crazy because they're absolutely awesome and I thought they were a cute couple. So you guys probably might know Ben, hear about him, about his wild ways about cheating and strippers and drugs and alcohol and stuff like that but uh, he seemed to kind of clean up his act when he met Jennifer Gardner and of course they have um, three kids so I was kind of confused because I thought that he kind of got past that and you know I don't know I thought they made a made a cute couple but there has been a lot of rumors going around that apparently J-Lo uh, got in between them. I doubt that's true, but if you guys don't know, Ben used to be engaged to Jennifer Lopez as well. Um, and there's also speculations of did Ben cheat on, cheat on Jennifer? Yeah, it's all, it's, everybody thinks it's all, uh, all Ben's fault and whatnot, but um, from what I am hearing, the reason for the divorce is because, uh, well, I've actually heard two things. Um, Jennifer Gardner instigated it um, because of the fact that Ben Affleck was getting a little too famous, uh, I guess with this Batman movie coming out, so she kind of didn't like that. I think she wanted to maybe have more time with him. And another thing is that uh, they're saying that Ben instigated the divorce because he just found that um, over the years she was more of a mother figure than a wife to him, um, which I kind of understand. He, I mean, she does have she does have three kids. I haven't really seen much of her since she's had her kids, so she's she's pretty much pretty much a, a homebody. You know, just relaxing at home with the kids. And um, he just kind of felt like he kind of lost himself. Like, he, I guess he felt that, um, I don't know, that he just, you know, did, couldn't couldn't party anymore. Couldn't go out and have fun. It, like, even by himself or with, uh, with his wife. So he just, I guess he felt that he just wasn't himself. I, I don't know if that's true, but I can see that. I mean, before he met Jennifer, he, you know, he was having fun. He was, you know, wild parties. He didn't have to answer to anybody. And now, you know, over the 10 years he's been with Jennifer, I think he's toned back everything, but I'm guessing he is missing it. So I guess in coming days, I'm sure we'll find out uh, more that's uh, going on. And other news, you guys, um, not much, not much news this week. I mean, there was tons of news, but nothing that really, I don't know, was, I was drawn to, but, uh, there's new speculations that Miley Cyrus has a girlfriend. I guess she was caught, uh, making out with her and whatnot, so, uh, whatever, more power to her. Who cares? Who cares if it's a girl? Who cares if it's a guy? But, uh. Yeah, everybody's pretty excited because they're just trying to figure out who's this new girl. So, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, so you guys know that in previous blogs, I have said that I'm addicted to Netflix. My friend has been telling me to watch this TV show, and I forgot, and then she reminded me again. So I ended up watching it is Drop Dead Diva. So if you guys watch it, what do you think of it? Storyline itself was kind of weird just because it was two people dying and then one of the spirits went into the other body I like a, a size zero model ended up 
in the body, it, her spirit ended up in the body of a size 16 lawyer. So it's kind of interesting. I'm not normally drawn to lawyer stuff, but I kind of think, I don't know, I kind of like it because she's fierce and being a plus size woman myself, I kind of like seeing kind of the plus size woman power role. She's, she's an absolutely amazing actress, so I'm... That's my new addiction. I can't stop watching it. But then I just came on Netflix just right now and they put season five of Pretty Little Liars, which I'm really excited. So actually, as we speak, I'm watching it. However, it's on pause. If you guys want to see, it's on pause. Yeah, see, Pretty Little Liars is on pause. And if you guys didn't hear that, that's a doorbell. And my dog is going crazy for the doorbell. Um, <laughs> somebody's here. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm being kind of a nerd. And I'm not even going to edit that out because, you know what? I'm, I'm not professional. I like my videos to be kind of, um, natural, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, I'm watching Pretty Little Hours, and I'm absolutely excited. Um, but I don't know, I'm addicted to Netflix, because I don't, I don't have cable where I'm at. And, um, so I don't watch a lot of TV. But I am watching Big Brother. Oh. Big Brother's the only TV show that I'm watching right now on TV. But other than that, everything is Netflix related. So I am addicted to Netflix. So is there any kind of movie, TV show that you guys um, watch on Netflix that you find absolutely addicting? Because I get addicted so, so fast and so easy. Um, anyway, I'm kind of rambling on, guys. So that's all my kind of entertainment vlog for today. Oh, you know what? No, it's not. It's not. I remembered. I'm just, you guys, I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. And yesterday was the 20th anniversary of the Power Ranger movie. And all the old Rangers are going around. Are you guys excited that the movie is 20 years, 20 years old? And they're like, no, because that makes me old. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited and I can't wait for the new Power Ranger movie to come out. There was kind of speculations of what the movie was going to be about, and I read kind of a, a script, I guess. I don't know if it's going to come to you, I kind of want to keep it a surprise and just go to the movies and be completely shocked to see what happened. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I hope you guys liked my little rant, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You guys have yourself a great night.